Hi everyone, I'm really sorry that I'm late in posting the April favorites. The reason for this is because I've been very busy with my work and my personal life. As you know, YouTube is not my job, so these things need to prioritize first my work and my personal life that is. Um, I have already made this video a long time ago and it's just that posting and editing takes a while. So hope you enjoy watching this video. Hi everyone, today I'm going to do my April favorites. The first one that I'm going to show you is my Benefit You Rebel. I know this product is looking very worse for wear but it has been really loved. Um, this is the one in light. If I'm not mistaken and this has SPF 15 in it now the reason why I like this is because over the past few weeks I've been having some issues with my skin I've been having a lot of breakouts because of that so um, it has been taking a toll and that's why I've been using this instead I didn't want a full coverage uh, foundation on my skin uh, because I didn't want to clog the pimples any further and uh, this is very light indeed it's a tinted moisturizer so it has very light coverage it doesn't have that light to medium coverage no this has very light coverage I, like I said just now I don't want too much coverage and um, the only thing that I wanted to do was to even out my skin tone this really does that um, it evens up my skin tone and it makes my skin looks a lot brighter my scars or my pimples does show through but it looks healthier um, it doesn't look too cakey it doesn't look too heavy and my skin is breathing a little bit easier that way my skin can heal a little bit faster so that's the reason why I like this one it's in light again I really like this product and I think that this is a very good value for money for those days that if you don't want too much coverage or even like me um, you don't want too much coverage that it will cover up all your pores or your pimples this would do the trick try this out if you are at the benefit counter it's really good now the next thing is my Eno V undercover uh, under eye dark circle corrector this is really good. I really like this stuff. Um, I don't remember what my shade is in, but this is really good. It looks a bit weird because it's actually a yellow um, corrector. Uh, I should have shown you how it works, but uh, never mind. Let's just put it here. You see it's not that thick but it covers really well I'll just let it out for you see that it covers really well I think that the color is going to be very dark underneath your eyes no it's very surprising that it just makes the under eye circle disappear just like that uh, I really think that this is a very good product indeed from Inovi and I think that um, a lot of people who has dark circles under their eyes would really benefit from this. I love this stuff. You don't need too much of it. You just put two dots where you are darkest the most. For me it's this section right here and then after that just pat it out. Really good stuff. So try this out. It's the Inovi Undercover under eye dark circles corrector there we go so try it out um, the next makeup related item is my benefit um, what is this benefit chrysalis cream shadow liner it looks like this there we go it smells kind of weird that's the color and here we go. This is a great color if you don't want to put any eyeshadow on your lids. It has quite a brightening effect. It makes the eyes look more awake and I really like it. It's um, 
it's kind of like a dual tone kind of color now just a word of warning with this you cannot put a double layer of this product because it's going to move so you need to have just a slight uh, wash of it and then probably build up just once and don't do it the sec uh, the third time around because it's going to um, the product is going to move if you see that I don't know whether you can see it but there's a patch there that has moved because I have moved it like this so it has moved and just don't do a triple layer of this product but it's very nice I really like it and you can use it as a liner too preferably you can put it underneath your eyes right near your tear duct it will look very nice um, very brightening next product is my NYX mocha um, blush it looks like this it doesn't look much but um, when you put it on and when you blend it out doesn't that look pretty it gives the uh, cheeks just the right amount of blush on I really like this uh, color like I said this is in mocha it doesn't look like a mocha color but yeah I really like it though this one is from nano white it is the clarifying cleansing milk this is a very good product because you can use it all over your face you can use it on your eyes and um, it really removes the uh, dirt makeup and it really does its job when you apply this and then when you rub it in you rub it in really well around your nose area and such and then after that you take a cotton pad and just wipe it off you can see that it will remove all the traces of makeup dirt from your face really good product it's not that expensive it's about under 20 ringgit and um, it's a whitish kind of color it's a cleansing milk so it's white in color the smell is quite pleasant too. For me, it's not that um, overpowering. And I like using this, especially, well, I like using this uh, when I wear makeup or when I don't um, on a daily basis because, you know, when you use a cleansing milk um, before you do your um, daily cleanser, it's much better because it, it does help to remove any dirt from your pores so it would not clog the pores even more when you go in with your daily cleanser it's just to remove the remaining residue that's it this is a very good product to use the last two things that I want to show you is um, this one from Giovanni um, this is frisbee gone and this is shine of the times this is a finishing hair mist and this is of course a hair serum really good hair product this has a lot of natural products in it um, this too um, when used together it really re does reduce the frizz and it makes my hair very shiny um, I can't show you my hair of course but I really like this stuff you just have to take my word for it um, this one costs $33.90 and for this one is for $35.90 you can purchase the Giovanni products from Sasa and I believe they have a constant supply of these two. I really like it but just try not to use too much of this. What I would do is spritz this in my palm and then just rub my hands together and pull it through my hair. That's it. You don't need a lot of this otherwise um, your hair will look greasy. Same as this. Um, once you've already washed your hair, um, style it put this one on and then put this one last item which I really like is my Ribena blackcurrant and strawberry I know Ribena right <laughs> it's a kids drink but I like it because it um, doesn't have any um, artificial flavorings and it doesn't have any artificial colors um, it's filled with vitamin C and the one with strawberry is much better than the normal one because um, this tastes a lot more sourish. 
um, the normal Ribena would taste more sweet but this one somehow it tastes more sourish and a little bit more fizzy very delicious the first time that I tried this was in the small bottles or small packs that they have. The reason why I got that was because I wanted to buy the original Ribena and I accidentally bought the strawberry. I was thinking, what? Ribena and strawberry? you got to be kidding me. Um, but when I tasted it, it's, it's so good. I bought the this one in order to dilute with water. Um, I already have uh, another bottle of this in my cupboard, so <laughs> this is really good. I really like it and um, my husband likes it too. What we do is that um, we would have it with warm or cold drink. This one I think is less than 15 ringgit for 1 litre, so that's not bad um, because I really like it. I don't. I don't really mind paying 15, under 15 ringgit for this. So Ribena, buy it, try it. Bonus item. Uh, this is the Clockwork Angel written by Cassandra Clare. I really like this story. Um, there's a lot of supernatural stuff in it. And then, gosh, the way that she wrote the um, story, it's, um, it's not as fast paced as um, the Hunger Games but this is more a little bit slower and then um, you get to uh, understand the characters even better this guy if I'm not mistaken picture is inspired by Will uh, it's one of the characters in this book and the way she describes him he is kind of mysterious and um, and at the same time very um, he doesn't really talk to other people. He sounds like a very good looking guy and I don't know, I really like this story. Um, according to Mischievous who is on YouTube, she said that the um, Clockwork Prince is not as good as the first book which is this one. So I'm quite disappointed but I'm still going to give it a try. Um, I've already finished this book. Right now, I'm reading this book right here, which is Julie and Julia. Um, to tell you the truth, the reason why I bought this was because it's a story about Julia Child and there's a story about food. That's the reason why I bought this. But the thing is, when you read this book, it's more in-depth about um, Julie instead. It's a little bit slow for me. Right now, I'm about um, three quarters of the way through. I'm just reading this for the sake of finishing it. Um, right now, I'm not really enjoying it that much. There's a lot of funny moments. Other than that, um, I don't think that I would recommend this book. I would recommend this book though. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. It's it's a really good book. Um, the Clockwork Angel. Make sure that you get a copy of this and read it. Um, the moment that I bought this book, I think I read it in about... A week where well, I can read it for less than that. The reason I didn't was because um, I had a lot of work to do and I was you know trying to read it just before I sleep or during the weekends. Um, I still loved it. There are certain parts whereby you really can't stop reading it because it's um, what do you call it the adventures was taking place at that time. There's a lot of things that was taking place at that time so that's the reason why um, sometimes you just can't put it down this is the type of book that you can't put down at all <laughs> this and the hunger games gosh i love these two books i do have a book haul uh coming soon um when i do upload it i'll just put the link right here that's all for my favorites let me know what are your favorites this month uh, hopefully, maybe I can try some of your favorites uh, or if you want to recommend a few books for me, please do so. I know that Cassandra Clare has another one which is called The Mortal Instruments. I've already bought that. It's going to be in my book haul. If you have any other book recommendations you want me to check out um, along the lines of uh, this Clockwork Angel or 
any other types of um, adventure, mystery, uh, supernatural stories, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to go to the bookshop right away uh, once I've read your comments. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!